So, here is Aqua. You'll be able to speak and read it right when you arrive. There's a chance you'll This here is from episode oh, 1. So, in episode 1, we were still finding my voice for Aqua. And I think this is actually common any show, any show where you have to establish a character's voice. Sometimes episode 1 is very different from other episodes. <laughs> And I'll go ahead and send you on your way. Yeah, like my voice is all over the place here. A young man like you should have a place of his own. But I'll miss hearing you rustle around next to me, breathing heavy, moaning like you have a stomach ache and then crap. Alright, I got it. <laughs> I'll lend you the money. Just shut up! At the time, that was one of the sexiest things I had ever recorded. Because I always got cutesy girls. Always. That <laughs> that was out of my comfort zone. But I did it! I did it! No! If I give up now, I won't get the reward! <laughs> I remember, okay, I did a watch party and I brought some coworkers and friends to one place to watch uh, Konosuba. The scene with the ass, like her, like just bent over like that, and her ass was like on the big screen. I rented out like a. Basically like a little theater. I played Konosuba on Crunchyroll on there. I remember seeing one of my coworkers was just like, he looked so gross, like disgusted. He was just like, oh, God. like he wanted to leave like kind of sick because there was such a big ass on the screen. <laughs> Here's a fun anime moment, okay? Look at these flaps. Flaps as in like how the mouth moves. Like sometimes you have to pause because the animation pauses. We justified it here with more sniffling. You can see. Thank you, Kazuma. Sniff for saving me. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> she smells like ass! <laughs> purification! 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 This was intense to record. There was a lot of screaming as Aqua. People are like, how did you train up for that? There. And I was like, I, I played know, a lot of Smash Bros. You're oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard me play Smash. I get very elated. I can't do what I gotta do in a fantasy world wearing clothes like these. Don't I get some basic gear to start with? I loved recording this scene. This was this is one of the earliest record this is in episode one. She's like freaking out. And it's like, how do you match that face? She's just like, I was a goddess. I lost everything. I'm here with a stranger. I have no powers. Um, I don't know when I'm ever going to be able to get back. She is miserable and she's freaking the F out. And so she's like, what is that? That face, look at that face. What does that sound like? Like her eyes are looking in different directions. She's just like giant tears. Her mouth is all funny shaped and it's like, Okay, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> oh, I love this part. Okay. You with it. it was supposed to be a secret, but I think I can trust you with it. <laughs> I am Aqua, worshipped by- <laughs> This is me on Twitter. She's like genuinely trying to tell them her big secret, right? She's like super genuine right now. But look at her, she has food on her face. We've seen this character be like a total idiot. <laughs> A number of times so you can just barely take her seriously but that's the comedy of this scene like that's why it's so funny because she's so serious it's it's just like really meta i love it hold your horses i want to see what kind of crap you hear this so you see how there's a hand on her face i am aqua and i have to pretend like there's a a hand over my my face and you know what now that I'm thinking about it, I can't actually remember how I did this, but I do remember that it's not good to actually cover your mouth. I think I had, I did like a off mic thing, or did I do this, or, or did they do it in post? Oh God, I want to talk about this, and yet I, it's been so long, I can't actually remember. <laughs> Come on, hurry it up. It doesn't matter what you pick anyway. Oh, okay. This, I actually did put something in my mouth. What was it? I think it was a piece of apple. So all studios actually, well, they usually had green apples in the room. And it's something about the skin, like something in the skin where like if you 
take a bite out of it, it like reacts with your saliva or something. There are green apples in the studio. I took a bite out of one and then I held a piece like in between my lips as I read this line so that it, it sounded like there was, I don't know, a potato chip in my mouth. Come on, hurry it up. It doesn't matter what you pick anyway. In the end, you'll still just be a shut-in gamer. Oh, you wreck! Take it back! Take it back now! All right, you attention ho I'll admit, you saved the day. So here's what we're gonna <laughs> do. You can have all the praise, all the reward, and all the debt. Have fun paying it off yourself. No, no way! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to say those things! That was one of the most fun things as Aqua. Just how quickly I had to switch her character. I love how like, God, she can be such a, such a jerk, such a brat. And then she's like groveling and crying and apologizing, but she's like supposed to be a goddess. Like that as a character is just hilarious. And she's my favorite color. This light blue. I love that color. People are like, oh, you like, you like that color because you voiced Aqua. I'm like, no, bruh. I, I like this color like forever. I understand. I see. I see. I see, yes, exactly. Then. And I just happen to get cast as this like character who is all in that color and and is just like such a fun, hilarious role to play. I am so honored. Listen. <sighs> I did it. I got her. And sometimes just so childlike. She's so innocent sometimes because she just doesn't get social situations or something. There's just so much to her character and it's fun. Okay, this, I love this scene. I recorded this once through, no breaks. So I have to go from Aqua thinking to herself, but saying it out loud. So she's like talking to herself. Then she gets grabbed, pulled suddenly. So you have to react to being pulled physically. And then I'm pretty sure, I think she gets pissed off at him. Let's watch it. I just remember so emotions no change drastically. Hey, don't you yank my arm! Can't you see I'm trying to figure out some very important issues over here? <laughs> this isn't the time for games, you shut and neat! That whole run, okay? That's one... That's a straight shot of recording. And all I see in front of me is is a script. I, I mean, I get to see the scene first in Japanese, right? So I, I, lis I see and I listen to how Sora Amamiya, who is an incredible very talented voice actor. I listen to how she does it and then I do my own take. Like everybody in the booth gets to see how the Japanese people did it first. And yeah, that is a flex. I'm proud of this. Are you kidding me? This is hard to do. It's so fun. This is the time for games, you shut it neat. Like I'm going from like talking to myself to like screaming in his face. I love this scene too. This scene feels like me in real life. This scene is about how she like, drinks with the guys, works with them, sweating balls is what Kazuma says, uh, with the guys. She's worried about her reputation still. She's just like, I'm a stunning goddess. <laughs> She's so weird. She's always been cool sweating balls out in front of the guys. After a rinse, she wolfs her dinner down and drinks till she's blind. She even sleeps with her mouth open, drooling all over. And now she's stressing about her rep? <laughs> I just think it's funny. Show you something, okay? Here's me at a convention, right? I dressed the F up because I could, but also it's just like, I don't know. But I'm like, how funny is it to dress up like that and then challenge everybody to Smash Bros? There's something about it that just really amuses me. And I'm like, oh, reputation. But I'm always sweating balls. Sweating balls with the boy. Okay, this scene. This is fun. This is like... Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my stream! Please subscribe, I need the money! That's what it's like. This is the scene. I need the money! I thought I'd get a bigger award after I won, but I didn't, and I owe those guys, but I don't have any money! I don't know what to do! I think I'm working a part-time job! How can a goddess be so pathetic? <laughs> that was fun. I'm glad we did that. Thank you for watching my video on the YouTube and do not forget subscribe because if you do not subscribe, you can be a, a, a sad and I would like to be a happy. So please do the subscribe, hit the red button. Thank you very much for watching the video and have a great day.